Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. This is two Divine Mask and Twin Flame reads for you coming up. Today is May 7th, 2020. Take a deep breath. Okay, I'm first going to pull an energy card for you for the first read to see what comes up. So for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? This is for the Divine Masculine Twin Flames. Today is May 7, 2020. And we also just had the full moon in Scorpio, I believe it is. All right, so what, what is the uh, purpose for this read today? Can you give us some energy here? The Angel of Love, 49 is the Get Your Wish card. It's the Nine of Cups, beautiful. One more card wants to be seen, so this one. All tied up, 23 is the King of Wands. All right, so that's basically representing your feminine and your masculine right now, or today anyway. And there may be some anxiety coming up as well, number 18, and that could be, you see there's three people represented here. So there's always some kind of three, three party situation when we're talking about twin flames. So we have the 18 of the moon, which is also the false light or the third energy as well. And the 23 of the king of wands and the 49 of the nine of cups, someone who's very satisfied with themselves. All right, so this also could be three different groups of people and what they're experiencing right now. So that's what we have right now. We also have this rest, rest and rejuvenation coming out 19. This has been coming out a lot this week to make sure you meditate and uh, rest, okay? This is the sun. Make sure you get some sunshine too. Get some downloads and codes from the sun. And the underlying energy is the door to romance. Okay, 33 is the Christ vibration, standing up for yourself. We have the sun and the moon, the king of wands, and the nine of cups, being satisfied with yourself. And that's the trick to happiness, right? Because if, if you can find happiness by yourself, then you're never afraid to end up by yourself. So then it, does, it frees you to do anything you want, right? All right, so I'm going to show you uh, all four pictures of the reads. The first reads from late yesterday. Let me just I'm going to expand this a little bit. So, All right, so this is the first read from late yesterday. And this is the full read from yesterday. All right, so that's all the cards for you. And then the read in front of you. This is the, the main cards for the read. And then this is the full read in front of you. So if any of you want to just look, at, look closer at the details, okay? So this first read was done at... Actually, the Syrian Starseed deck was cut and dealt at 444 yesterday, and that, uh, the Syrian Starseed deck is the main deck for this read. It's a seven deck read. The first read was done at 506 to seven yesterday. Five is the Hierophant, six the Lovers, and seven is the Chariot energy. The major arcana were the Shadow, Lovers, the Wheel, and Reason. The Reason is the Emperor card in this deck. And before the read, Luna, which is the moon, and Solar, which is the sun, came up. So the, the sun and the moon. There were the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands within the read, within the main part of the read. And before the read, because I do pull a few cards on either end of the read. Uh, before the read, the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords came up. And we also have three Pentacles, two Swords, and two Wands in the read. We had double Ones come up in the read, so 11. And on the code line, there were no numbers here, but it was all about pride and personal growth. And the other numbers were 322, 11, which is justice, 123, jump, 5, which is the Hierophant, 8, which is strength, 35, which is the wounded warrior, the Nine of Wands, 58, the Four of Swords, 34, the Eight of Wands, 45, the Five of Cups, 57, the Three of Swords, and 78, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles came up in this read as well in front of you. A lot of pentacles in the second read. It's very much about family and business for the masculine today in this read here. Oh, before I forget, um, I wanna say this um, early on for those of you who might drop off later. 
it definitely looks like for, for somebody out there, obviously it's not all the divine masculines, but someone may be take, you know, going up the mountains or taking a hike uh, or getting away. And it looks like the, the queen of wands, there's a lot of different scenarios, but for someone, it's that uh, wrecking ball energy. So someone might be looking for the masculine to leave, like, because they would rather take everything away from them than let them walk away with it. So someone might actually take a wrecking ball to the house, which they could just, you know, go in and wreck the house inside, or somebody could literally be taking a wrecking ball to your house or your business while you're away. So if you're going away today or tomorrow, make sure you know that and have, you know, and it, you could know about it. Like it could be somebody having construction done in their house or their business, but I just wanted people to be aware of that energy. So, um, the code line here about pride and personal growth for this first read, um, a threat of the great wheel was coming up and the wheel of fortune is reversed in the read in front of you. I'm trying to remember what it was on this one. Well, we'll see, but a threat of the wheel. And then Henry VIII was coming up. Henry VIII, I am, I am, that was coming up. And his date of birth, I wrote down for some reason, was June 28th, 1491 to January 28th. So the 28th of the Two of Wands or Twin Flames was coming up, 1547. He was married six times. He was very well known for the Protestant Reformation as the King of England, 1509 to 47, best known for his six marriages. And so one of those was Anne Boleyn, and several Elizabeths, and let's see who else, Catherine's. So I'm not going to go through all that information, but then I was getting um, a 3TT, which is like a toddler, right? That the, the Henry VIII is coming up as a, a big baby, right? A toddler. He is the, grease, the greasy wheel, the heir of flames. And then hemorrhoids were coming up as well, which can reference a pain in the ass. Pride was coming up and pride and prejudice as well as personal growth. And again, a threat of a toddler, like a toddler would throw a temper tantrum and I can attest to that. <laughs> My son was really good at that. So bridging of the flames or in other words, the ego. So for those grown men who act like little babies and have temper tantrums, that, that was coming up here. Anyone that you may see as Henry VIII. Um, I was also definitely getting sexual connection with my twin around 5.30 to 40 yesterday, which I don't feel very much anymore. So that was a little disconcerting for me because I don't know what he's doing these days. So um, no one likes to feel, you know, that energy if, if it's not, you know, with someone that they're with in real life, you know. So just bringing that up. Shadow we start out with the shadow energy reversed, which is the underlying energy for this first read. Below that shadow reversed was the moon upright, the ace of pentacles upright, and the solar deity upright. Um, detoxing after planning a new life amidst sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly go the years. The two of cups come together to receive an offer of love from the messenger of truth, holding back or perhaps screaming it out just to get it out. The Ten of Cups is reversed or just done, and the Nine of Cups is upright, happiness with self, and connection to the higher self. After the King of Cups is working to align, the Emperor reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed with secret or high priestess, or using their intuition, about the King of Swords reversed, who may be juggling an unhappy family, or moving on, the Knight of Pentacles upright, and then the Queen of Swords upright, and the Knight of Swords reversed, holding their tongue perhaps lashing out or cracking the whip as the Knight of Pentacles calmly rides by taking down all in his path, but just by being himself, he's not being aggressive or anything. It's just everything naturally falls into place as he rides by. As the Queen of Swords rolls out the natural red carpet, stopping to see the countryside on the way, rolling green or rolling hill with green dress for the Queen of Swords, matching greens and pinks, he works, she speaks, and others get flung from their saddles. The Knight of Pentacles is out being seen as the Empress reversed is reaping the rewards of working to align and be creative or doing detail work, perhaps getting their ducks in a row, separating from religion or church or separation of religion and church or um, state, church and state, 
but I was getting that energy of separation from religion or the Church of England, like Henry VIII, separated from the Catholic rules, said, all right, church doesn't have to follow their rules, and just decided to be able to get divorced, right? So taking it in his own hands, in other words, at 606, which is the lovers and the lovers, finances and career comes up, and beneath that was free yourself. Don't fence me in. So finding peace, the King of Cups, and by the way, the King of Cups was upright again today, uh, loses or ends the battle or throws the game for a new life in uncomfortable energies of pretending, but no longer willing to pretending to pretend, uh, no longer willing to pretend uh, or keep up appearances. So an altar may have been prepared, billowing blue curtains and purple perhaps, and baseball mitt pillows to assure a home run, giving up spying and or investigative work. Sharpening blades and cutting, they may be giving that up too, cutting words or scroll ironwork or having sex with his wife for her birthday, knowing that the divine feminine would feel it. So giving up all these things that he might've done before. Just when the King of Cups finds peace openly in ending conflict, there she goes setting up an altar for them to have sex, but no more pretending. No more fake or dirty dancing to the oldies, a ploy. So now it's like the masculine in general, just um, now understanding the manipulations of any, any karmics around them who may be trying to um, manipulate them into things they don't want to do that, that are not serving them or not for their highest good. So self-love comes up 61 and beneath that was completion, which is number nine or the hermit. 61 is the um, seven of swords card, but it's like taking a risk and loving yourself first. So we have completion there too. And then Alanis Morissette was coming up. I hope you feel it. Well, can you feel it? Right? So that song of revenge of someone who is pissed that they, they left them. And that can go all sorts of different ways. So sharing, settling out to let go of insecurities and be happy with self, choosing a new path with the twin flame, the secrets out of the King of Cups reversed, detached or over emotional, manipulative and or could be an alcoholic as well. Now the King of Cups, there's two different positions here in this read for the King of Cups. So one's, one was up, one is down. So just so you're not confused. So someone may be, he may be tipsy, thinking of twinkle toes at the Y in the road. I think this was the underlying energy last night. While hovering next to poison, just tempting himself to get a rash. So it's saying, you know, why would you hang around things that you know are bad for you if you know you may get tempted by them? So again, tipsy thinking of twinkle toes at the Y in the road. While hovering next to poison, just tempting himself to get a rash. Having to face grown males. And other words for grown males are bucks and hearts. The red deer is called a heart. Um, so either path he goes or the deer that he's hit over the years. So it's either path he goes down, he's, he's afraid he has to, he has to um, face the buck or face the heart, <laughs> which is really funny. Or just he's afraid to face perhaps bucks that are bigger than him, for example, like their father facing conflict. So again, having to face grown males, grown bucks, stags, or hearts, or red deers, either path he goes or the deer that he's hit over the years. So he may have actually hit animals before and, and never was able to get over that because he's very sensitive, or deers, just people who are dear to him, having run them over. Um, the path with dark birds and mountains to climb, or Clear skies and only molehills as opposed to mountains. Hearts can be 330 pounds and 39 inch spread, which is funny, um, but hearts are refer referencing the red deer. But hearts can be 330 pounds and 39 inch spread. He's been avoiding paths where he'd have to kill someone or nightmares about a deer that he killed in the past or just all about money or hearts. Have a buck, have a heart. Here a buck, there a buck. Here a heart, there a heart. Everywhere a heart, heart. Everywhere a buck, buck. All right, so they're playing up <laughs> every which way the masculine could perceive things. You know, all about money, all about breaking hearts or that jar of hearts 
Old McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And then I was getting, oh no, Mr. Bill was coming up. Not a man's man, but a mama's boy. The king of cups reversed, detoxing and lashing out, screaming to let it all out, working on no more pretending and more self-love, taking that risk, but also risky business. That's risky business where he comes from. 640 is the lovers and the page of cups. The recent past is the ace of swords reversed. In a split lie, cutting through the BS, out in the cold, but keeping to themselves to keep their energy pure and their heart protected. Perhaps all the stores are closed, free to leap when ready. The twins and our kids finding peace away from those still getting over it. Like, you know, why do they have to sit in energy if they're good? The page of pentacles studying all angles of the downturn, the twist of fate that we're all in, and the knight of wands rushing in. Or Twist of Fate is coming between the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. The foundation, now the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Wands can be two kids, or they can be messages. The Page of Pentacles is all about an opportunity or invitation. And the Knight of Wands can be someone passionately rushing in with a sexual message or a creative message. Or they can be two kids or two adults acting like kids. Well, the foundation here is the Two of Pentacles upright. Surrender to come out to the world strong but without control and powerless allowing themselves to be powerless about the weight of the world upon their shoulders of that atlas energy the burdens the responsibilities right the doing hard labor at 652 which is the lovers and the 52 of the queen of swords so surrendering to strong virgo sealed divine feminine powerless to the emperor reversed with burdens weighing him down the central energies, the lovers, come to light, healing from rejection in 5D. The challenge being destiny is reversed right now, the slowdown, the downturn, the twist of fate that we're all in, juggling, performing, and giving in to low vibes to or from the past who are suffering in silence, which then lowers your vibe. So that was like the kids not wanting to hang around with any people who are still getting over things, whether it's an illness or grief or just people who are depressed all the time, people learning that they no longer have to put up with that energy. They can love that person, but then let them go do that themselves. So showing high vibe in the 5D, perhaps lost one ball or a testicle in the past. So there may be some masculines who are very self-conscious about that. Home with sunshine, kids, Leo, were all exposed. Oh, by the way, lupus came up today as well, which can really drain you. You know, you have to be careful with lupus. So divorced and or spiritual, and offering a new life to the Page of Wands who's inspired by union and exposing all, or selling business or settling out to pay off the Page of Pentacles from the, or the Page of Wands from the past, or Taurus reversed is paying child support arrears. The Page of Pentacles student child or opportunity from the past, or to go back and be happy with self to come together for 5D performance or meditate to end the game playing and or conflicts or fights depression and loss of hope, the need to heal and shine. Aquarius reverse, Virgo reverse, and Libra reverse come up here, coming out about injustice and depression. Now, released from hiding out, prison and or anxiety issues, uncomfortable energies without option, at war within, triumphing over it, the past worst over, now of the King of Cups reversed, with anxiety, drinking, manipulation, or detachment issues. The King of Cups is taking back his power. Impatient fallen angel from the past, rejected in things that may not be fair, or settling to hold on to money, time, and effort, and savings. Settling out and sharing and holding on to what's left. Impatient or losing temper with Queen of Cups reversed, or Queen of Cups reversed is losing her temper. Or Sagittarius reverse is released and settling out, saving in impatiently hoping the queen of cups reversed won't reject him or injustice of withholding of coming together celebrating and happy and having it exposed the magician king of pentacles manifesting two in the 5d out in the cold together though extending um an olive branch toward or to end the battle Libra, Virgo, and Gemini come up here and judgment, announcement, wake-up call without option to go out to eat, right? Because nobody can go out to eat these days. The magician is hangry, seeing synchronicities with the Queen of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed, lashing out at him, and that the Knight of Swords reversed can just be the Queen of Wands reversed, her lashing out, 
or it can be two people or this queen of wands reversed and a child reversed, but they're both reversed because they're really hungry or hangry or not liking the gifts that were given or getting, ev or she may be getting everything but the one thing that she wanted. The queen of wands reversed is pissed and the magician is hangry. So the king of pentacles is stealing a kiss between twisted pillars while connected in the 5D. And that can be sharing that kiss in the 5D or in his present circumstance, but feeling the 5D with his twin at the same time, which of course isn't okay, you know. So soon as the five of wands reversed, battle is over, game lost or losing battle, suffering in silence, stressed out, injustice of the worst now being over to receive bliss, but in death, dark night, an ending, a transition over the 4D bridge. The high priestess secret um, intuitive abilities. The end is here and secret jealousy released or jealous Pisces released from prison at 727, which is the chariot and the ace of wands. That can be boldly moving into a new passion or the high priestess or Viking princess and the knight of cups reversed released in death or an end that he is the three of pentacles upright. He sees himself as his work or the place of co-creation the wounded warrior receiving an offer of passion, which was lost on the Queen of Swords, feeling the King of Wands reversed, sexual energy in a split divide, lies, and a need for clarity held over the wounded warrior's head at work. Or the Divine Masculine getting aroused by someone at work and trying to hold it back from the Queen of Swords, feeling it and talking about it and holding it over his head. So passion and flirt and playfulness and trust come up around the masculine or how he's seen as the queen of pentacles hanging out announcing in judgment a wake-up call capricorn and aquarius at work or place of co-creation which the, this place of co-creation can be anything it can be school it can be a church a place where you um, an art center or a gym anything like that but it is a place of coming together to co-create usually work the king of swords reversed under the radar detoxing the chains that bind at work the Queen of Pentacles hanging out with the King of Swords reversed, feeling like a failure, not wanting attention or negative attention and being judged at work or bad news comes in over the loudspeaker at work or piping in music to overpower the chaos and fears of the people about the virus and or under the radar music or announcements coming out over the loudspeaker that you weren't planning on, trying to detox the illness with visits or spending on a new atmosphere again like so you could be some people may be redoing their home or redoing their business or building a house perhaps with an architect and prices keep going up or adding more to it so this could also be a partner who keeps adding some more and more stuff to the plans and making it much more expensive aquarius and capricorn here the block for the masculine has to do with the emperor reversed out of control, someone who's abusing their power, or they could just be going through ego death or having a bad day. It can be an older person who has physical or mental issues. Depression, avoiding disaster, or in the aftermath of sudden events or epiphanies, standing up for himself to the Aquarius reversed, Scorpio reversed, or Aries reversed. In personal growth, pride, but even more so for the masculine here, is parenting and intuition. There's a big love at work and keeping it quiet. The King of Wands reversed is spreading the word of suffering in silence post-war with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, which can be a family, business, legacy, or a community, even the government. And the King of Wands reversed is hangry and frustrated, depressed in hiding and coming out about injustice, or Aquarius reversed and Virgo upright and or reversed, Libra reversed and Gemini upright here, passing downloads to cancer lover or taking risk to drive to see lover, meditating, or on the beach, message news, spreading the word about an offer of help, money, or opportunity, or a proposal to end battle, conflict, game of ignoring the Queen of Pentacles. Detox and surrender at work with the Queen of Pentacles in a split lie or cutting through the BS with the lover and the challenge being, and that can be Gemini too, the challenge being the twist of fate, losing battle of the Emperor reversed, coming out of hiding, jail or anxiety as the king of wands reversed is passing downloads or blocking them or doing risky meditations with a message a message to or from the knight of pentacles proposing something healthy at 801 eight is strength and one is the magician so detox ending chaos and split lies and 
um, the need for clarity there with the king of cups reversed in surrender to lover coming out of hiding anxiety stress or jail the challenge being that twist of fate that we're all in the workplace or coming together to co-create and end conflict and face conflict um, physical issues and or viruses and the queen of pentacles upright with the emperor reversed and the king of wands reversed out of control egos or in ego death or they've been hiding out or hiding secrets or risky business or the emperor reversed and king of wands reversed are not agreeing on how things should be done at work meditating deep in thoughts or at the beach or taking a balloon ride with kids the king of wands is reversed resting with the page of swords and the knight of pentacles or trying to block them from coming together so this king of wands can be the, could be the masculine it could be someone who's been trying to block them from coming together the Knight of Pentacles is proposing to end conflict or games, bored, apathetic, or ignoring the Queen of Pentacles, or split of a partnership between the Queen of Pentacles upright, the Emperor reversed, and the King of Wands reversed, or surrendered business to the Queen of Pentacles so he can surrender to his lover and come out of hiding. Perhaps the King of Pentacles is splitting from the Queen of Pentacles, or the King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed are splitting up, but also connected to work, or a heated debate between them at work with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands reversed, feeling attacked or under siege and, dis and defending his turf. So that was the first read. All right. The second read. The second read was done at well the Syrian starseed deck was cut and dealt at 1248 to 49 which is the eight and nine of cups so walking away and within and then getting your wish that's the first time and then it was completed and ALS came up at 101 so that's lupus and then it was finished at 114 which is the magician and the 14 of the temperance card patience and balance and the angels I watched the movie called The Stand at Paxton County, so Texas-type energies were coming up. And, yeah, so today is the 7th. It's the day of the... Yesterday was the 15 and the 6th. So that was the devil and the, and the lovers. Today is the tower and the chariot. So tower is anything to do with sudden events, for good or for bad, and the chariot is those big moves. Move, travel, ascension... Um, the chariot reversed when everything's really stuck it has a lot to do with the state of emergency as well. But it was, I think it's upright in this read in front of you. Yeah. And for those of you who are interested, I'm still going to, I'm going to post the uh, union reads I did yesterday and today too, but I'll do that after this. All right. So I'm going to pull an energy card again for this second read that's in front of you now. There's a lot of similar energies, but it was much more about, it's much more pentacles in this read. We have the ten of pentacles, we have the three of pentacles, we have the queen and king of pentacles. The king is the, is the challenge position. The queen of pentacles is the foundation, and then we have the, after the read, the page of pentacles is coming up as well. A lot of pe pentacles energy as well as the two of cups reversed. And... Yeah, the mass one seeing himself as the two of cups, but it's reversed in this read. So there's definitely breakups, whether they're business or relationship-wise, are going on. Some kind of disconnect could be with kids as well. So what is the energy revolving around this read, and what is our message for this read? And again, this is from the energy deck for May 7, 2020. Appreciation, showing gratitude. But remember, this is the 15, so it has to do with... They're having appreciation for your shadow side as well as your light. Okay, so for, the, for good and for bad, showing your appreciation. And the 37, which is the King of Cups, and the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. So this is all about confidence and shining your light. And the bottom of the deck is Victory 28, the Twin Flames, the Two of Wands, choosing a path. But this is victory in peace, right? That peaceful energy. Um, these two cards want to come out and be seen as well. We have 32 and 17, very much the same color energies. 32 is the journey, the six of wands, and 17 is the stars that they are. The door to spirit flying in and purification 
in order to let them run free. That's a really beautiful energy, right? So showing appreciation and gratitude for your shadow side and your unconditional love, right? Shining your light no matter what for good and for bad and purifying your spirit so that you can both run free together even if you're opposites, right? So that's a really nice message. All right, so this, this read here. Oh, well, let's see. So the major arcana were the wheel, the great wheel, karma is the judgment card, and then after the, the read, alchemy came up, which is the temperance card. We had two wands, four pentacles, so a lot of pentacles in this read, which is not just money, it's about you know anything around daily duties, money, time, and effort. Um, the one, the, we had one sword and two cups come up, so mostly pentacles here. And then the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, like I said, both came up in the read, and the knight of cups. And there's one section in this read where the Knight of Cups came up and he's reversed three times. So it can reference three different timelines or three different people who are all in that rejection, jealousy, insincerity, not loved mode, right? Feeling sorry for themselves. All of those kind of energies come up under the Knight of Cups reversed, refusing to give or receive love. And then after the read, the Page of Pentacles came up. So we had double ones, double threes, double sevens, and double tens, all right? So that's 11 is justice, 33 is the Christ vibration, the seven of wands, standing up for yourself without getting defensive, 77 of the sovereignty, the sovereign, and then the 1010 of the very high vibration, right? Keeping it high um, is all around the effort. And the message here, which was funny, um, it's about the, the king of pentacles, the master of crystals, which has to do with the crystal skulls and Akashic records but also the King of Pentacles. And one of the T came up as just showing the key, like a, a like an Allen wrench. And it's so funny, it came up because I just finished showing my son how to to unclog the um, the garbage disposal with the with the Allen wrench. So it was really funny. Um, but anyway, making the effort regarding the master of crystals, right? So mastering manifestation. Um, a key in alternating currents of, you know, when you're, when you're feeling back and forth, one minute you're up, one minute you're down, one minute you're here, one minute you're there, one minute you're grounded, one minute you're not. And the air conditioning, right? Conditioning your thoughts. The key of conditioning your thoughts in alternating environments, um, dealing with the energy of seeing or this, the ocean, the sea, right? Being in deep emotions, with the King of Pentacles being in the Jesus template and making an effort in that sense. A key sea breeze, right? the sea always has to do with emotions and deep emotions, as the King of Pentacles in the Jesus template makes an effort here or is being called to make an effort. Also attacks coming up here. Attacks I, the King of Pentacles, Jesus effort. So some of the masculines who are making an effort to become more their authentic self may be dealing with people attacking them for it. Okay. So, um, and I, I looked up some stuff online. Most of the stuff that came up in the headers was just about crystals again, which has come up a lot. So I didn't want to review that again, but master crystals came up. That was from twistedtree.org in the UK. And I was getting connection also at that time when that came up. So that was at 138, which is the Magician and the Queen of Cups. And just so you know, all four aces in this read were reversed. So we had the Four of Wands reversed. There's major moves happening. If all four aces are reversed, there's about to be a switch to go forward. And the Four of Wands was reversed, which indicates instability, um, moving, visiting, ending a marriage, or ending a big party, or just unstable environment. This can be, like I said, the wrecking ball. It can be redoing your home or your business. So after dumped in the dumps, purging or overwhelmed or burdened with responsibilities or hard labor, or perhaps working out in the yard, withholding, playing hardball, and or delays in money, time, and effort, or a new life, defenseless to the energies and or attacks coming at him. Good news, victory leading the way to message of love or to visit a child or new, ba or new baby who's crying all the time or just so happy to see you. And that can be just a child or a message of love, someone who's just happy to see you, perhaps tears of joy, happy with self, getting wish of being left behind 
someone's happy to be left behind. It's like the whole family leaving them so they can have, actually have some quiet time to keep to themselves, to keep their energy pure, um, and doesn't want to know. Like, so if people want to tell them stuff, they don't want to know. Just leave me alone. I'm perfectly happy by myself. Or the Divine Feminine is keeping her energy purified, like only dealing with loving energies around them, like not willing to put up with negative people or energies when they don't have to. Why would you, not, why would you deal with unloving people when you can deal with loving energies only? So that's kind of the Divine Feminine energy coming up right now. And the Divine Masculine just being happy alone, having alone time. So no peace except at work for the masculine, perhaps. And the King of Swords reversed, defenseless to the Queen of Cups upright, sitting under a tree, perhaps, or grounding and integrating offers of love, perhaps bored or perhaps not, or just bored with a so-so offer, walking away while the Queen of Wands is withholding, perhaps someone in the mountains and the Queen of Wands with a black cat and a long tail about to crop or sell, but I, I was just getting crap about to crap. <laughs> Um, but it was initially supposed to be like with the long tail, somebody might be cropping their dog's tail. You know how some animals have their tails cropped. So the queen of wands with black cat and long tail about to crop or sell them, magnetizing a higher offer, a gap in support or foundation walking away until fixed or until they have domination or holding back money to pay taxes or back taxes, or about to put a wrecking ball to a home or establishment, or going away while work is being done to the home or work, or the Divine Masculine walks away while the Queen of Wands sits in his offer, or sits on his offer, to think about it, or she's playing hardball, or wrecking ball with the Four of Wands reversed, which is what I brought up earlier. The Eight of Pentacles reversed indicates something's not working, or the overworking's not working, uh, meditation, resting, praying, the King of Pentacles upright and the King of Swords is reversed, perhaps a mess that needs to be cleaned up and connecting in 5D or praying to God for help with the King of Swords reversed in negative talk, verbal abuse or lies. It is safe to love came up underneath and then the top card was all about separation for the divine masculine. 211 is the high priestess and 11 is justice. And that separation card is time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So no more flirting or casual sex or no more showing sexual or muscle power or using feminine wiles to get their way with the four of wands reversed, move, visit, end of party, right? The party's over and or marriage. The emperor's out of control, abusing their power or an ego death and stepping down or away from their trophy wife at the full moon drunken party or from a mirroring effect, defenselessness and no longer caring, not allowing women to hug him or rub up against him or use sexual manipulations or use children as an excuse to make things look a certain way with him. Lobster has found his pearl and, and this party is not it. No longer interested in people who want to get drunk or waste food or are just slobs or anal or just nice to be alone and not responsible for other people's messes. Synchronicities comes up, 87, and underneath that was love, number six. Finding peace, ending family and or emotional cycle, present to the ship sailing, and justice, divorce, and or Libra, sharing or settling out with the Page of Cups. Una the Page of Cups can be a child who's unaware of what's actually going on, or just being loving without expecting anything in return and being an example to your child. Or someone got new shoes or sneaks or new floors, perhaps a surprise gifting or stuff or money up for grabs, bubble gum or gift machine, you know, the ones that blow all the stuff up in the air and you have to try to catch one. Or father showing child how justice or the justice system works or how to be balanced or fair without needing to know every detail. Or somebody sold a boat or found out where someone was sneaking, found out where someone was sneaking off to at night or a child helping their father give food to the homeless, knowing and keeping to themselves in a move or construction, a visit or end to a home, holding back money, time and effort, the King of Swords reverse is no longer willing to pretend and seeing a lot of synchronicities or has options. Maybe they need to choose options if they're building a house or redoing their, their business, you know. So the recent past is the wheel reversed, a slowdown or a twist of fate, the tower with sudden events and epiphanies or surprises and drama, 
at war with this virus and dumping emotional attachments to people and places and things who no longer serve or someone at war who'd rather destroy everything than let the other person get it. And that's what I was talking about earlier. So present to or present in separation, trapped, imprisoned anxiety as the King of Cups is upright. And that could, there could be Libra reversed and Scorpio upright there. The foundation being the Queen of Pentacles upright with burdens, responsibilities, or hard labor, hard work, resisting the Knight of Wands, or it's hard to resist the Knight of Wands rushing in passionately at the full moon or at night to let go, fix, repair, and make amends in injustice or coming clean or getting clean with them. The central energy is no downloads or a delay in information passed on, frustrated with Leo and or ego or just being strong with the emperor reversed, getting clean and powerless to inequity, debt, scam, or not sharing with the queen of wands, choosing a new path, or she is not okay with his choice of new path or discussing division of assets here at 234, which is the high priestess and the eight of wands. At 235, which is the high priestess and the nine of wands or the wounded warrior, the challenge is the king of pentacles upright, the crystal skull and Akashic records. The fool now free to leap to the ten of pentacles home and or business or community, walking away or going up the mountains, perhaps the family home, or for a hike, or perhaps told to take a hike, reaping rewards of the King of Cups, Dark Knight, and Scorpio, or doesn't have to worry about being responsible for, for once, right? So the um, Hermit Reverse, which also can be Virgo energy, over-isolating or just feeling like they're going crazy, or coming out patient, angel, or Sagittarius, as the Queen of Cups connected to the Magician, who's purging, stressed out, suffering in silence, or dealing with their insecurities and or manipulations, coming out to close the gap and disconnect between a Virgo reversed or Gemini reversed or Sagittarius upright or Aquarius reversed, who may, or that could be someone's depression, loss of hope, or suffering in silence, purging jealousy issues, insincerity, the Knight of Cups reversed, avoidance, harsh split, lies, and cutting through the crap, a history of rehab, arrest, or hospitalization they don't want to get out, coming clean about guilt and shame, or dumped, or in the dumps, or pushed to their emotional limits, of depression, or with an Aquarius reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed, resting, sleeping, meditating, praying, or laid to rest, or a subject laid to rest, jealousy issues at work. Now is the Ten of Pentacles upright, in the now moment, or the crowning position here, over the loss or grief and regret, someone's over it or getting there, the Page of Pentacles child, student, or opportunity or invitation to study, research, or look at every angle of a situation or the gold coin, the unity consciousness, feeling defenseless to the energies and attacks coming in or feeling ganged up on, anxiety, fears, prison of mind with the hermit with the light um, on it or shedding light on, this, on, on their situation and standing up for themselves with lighting the torch and being in their knowing. The Hierophant or Taurus, marriage, religion, establishment or community or societal norms, holding back or playing ball, sending a small message or spreading the word, missing their flame and now doing something about it in a twist of fate, drained, sick, tired, crazy kids are overexposed and feeling like they are going crazy, breaking patterns and then messing up, dropping the act, the facade, the great pretender, in a world of pain, endings, and betrayal, back treatments, their world upside down, or jealous in another world, and kept quiet about it, with sealed divine feminine in another world, in your prayers, but sealed in 5D with a kiss, the six of cups reversed, a negative past, or difficult kids in split, and big love at work, and there's no guilt with that, with the faceless women's bodies purging their emotions, crying, complaining, and overwhelmed in this twist of fate and depressed, the Knight of Pentacles offers help to the Empress reversed and their happy family, or to give her emotional fulfillment or a happy ending. Soon is the Knight of Cups reversed in a losing battle of ignoring love from the Divine Lover. In Dark Knight, High Priestess secret or intuitive or psychic abilities about the Knight of Cups reversed, jealousy, rejection, insincerity, complaining, or crying, and hanging out in limbo, or feeling hung out to dry. 
drained and burdened, or tired of resisting the high priestess, or keeping secrets, and the three of and three knight of cups here, like I told you, all reversed. The dark knight, the high priestess, and somebody at work, perhaps an Aquarius or Cancer at 301. And three is the empress and one is the magician. And that could be three people around the masculine who are showing jealousy of them as well. Or it could just be jealous women um, in his life, okay? So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Knight of Cups reversed here with the Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius in chart, perhaps. He's seeing himself as the Two of Cups reversed, depressed or losing hope and needing to heal, uh, expressing feelings in energetic exchange with the wounded warrior who's now in surrender. The Four of Cups is reversed or losing home, freed them in a disconnect. So losing the home may actually have been a blessing in disguise, freeing them in a disconnect or a breakup or just not seeing eye to eye. This could be the one comes up, let your friends help, calling in your soulmate and make the effort. Um, and make the effort to not give away the milk for free was coming up also. Around the masculine, uh, whatever karmic energies are there, an announcement, judgment, a wake-up call to action, perhaps about social distancing, negative groups and associations, third parties and rumors, and detoxing of the messenger of truth rushing in, and the king of wands and a split lie and finding clarity in the situation, perhaps in a fight, with the long arm of the law or detoxing and drain from denying the messages of truth that have been coming in. The um, blocks that the masculine needs to clear here is the five of wands reversed. Frustration, I'm sorry, it's not, oh, it is the five. So the five of wands reversed is that, you know, is loot the losing battle, losing the game, no more conflict, all that ending. Um, but we also have the Ace of Wands on top of that. So there's a lot of frustration here and blocks, creative or sexual blocks, not aroused or unable to conceive of such a situation. Um, this losing battle with the Ten of Pentacles, that wealthy or abundant family, business or community, and the Queen of Swords reversed. Could be a liar using their abundance or family to protect herself. Perhaps a female tease who then runs home to her family to hide, leaving him hung out to dry and jealous and drained. Effort comes up, but even more so for the masculine is change, nature, follow your dreams, and communications. The evil empress is reversed. And again, this could just be an old person who's sick, whether it's physical or mental, doesn't matter. It could be just someone who's sick, but also could be someone who's way out of control, right? Abusing their power, discussing orders at the gate. Or, you know, this is a woman, so she could be using her feminine wiles to get what she wants. Um, under the So dis, it's her, the evil empress, with the masculine perhaps discussing orders at the gate, her orders, under the tree, rock, paper, scissors, or and sweet treats, or scissors, magnet, coin, and dessert. Workplace reorganization or place of co-creation. There's no surprise. It must be up to her specifications overwhelmed and people needing to heal, feeling unloved and need to rest and meditate, workplace with a negative past and no peace of mind with the Queen of Pentacles, or stuck with the kids at work and the Queen of Pentacles are always worried that the past may return while the family is there, or stuck in their head about the Queen of Pentacles at work with the family, presently with no surprises, bold moves and or announcements, travel or songs or wake-up calls, or Cancer and Aquarius are taking over at work as usual with patience and the Page of Pentacles learning new abilities to work with or putting new abilities into practice at 318, which is the Empress and the Moon. Moving or revamping home or business, the Queen of Pentacles in disconnect of karma, judgment, announcements, or opening their crown in a slowdown of downloads and challenged by the King of Pentacles or Akashic Records. And the Knight of Cups reversed and the Five of Wands reversed in a losing battle and jealousy, perhaps, with the Ten of Pentacles family or parent company taking over the business at present, patient and learning new abilities or toys. Like this could be restructuring the business, just redoing it um, aesthetically, or literally a parent company coming in and taking over and telling you what to do, or just bringing a lot of new um, equipment or toys, you know, for the men to figure out and play with. Or women, you know, it's just, you know, boys and their toys is coming up here. 
So dumped, resisting, withholding attacks in a move, visit, end of marriage, and or restructuring while things are slow. So it's a good time to redo things when things are slow now and keeping to self about what they're doing. The Queen of Pentacles upright is coming clean or getting clean and challenged by the King of Pentacles upright and the Ten of Pentacles family, business, legacy, or community in disconnect, not seeing eye to eye or face to face, the Knight of Cups reverse jealousy and rejection at work. Karma, judgment, ends conflict or law, losing battle or game at work and present to flame with alchemy and the abilities to come together with them. At 325, which is the Empress and the Knight of Wands rushing in. So again, dealing with judgment or karmics at work, ending conflict or losing battle or game at work, but present to the flame and the alchemization and the abilities he now has in order to come together with the Divine Feminine. All right, so that ended at 325. So I'm going to give you a couple more cards. It was just 50-50. <laughs> That's funny because... Uh, what came up in the union, I think, I guess it was the union read, what the mask was ha happy because he, he got five nights. So actually he ended up getting a little more than half. So somebody was pleased about that, but that just came up 50, 50. So one more closing card for you guys. And then I'm going to go one more card. Anything else that everyone needs to know? The temple path. That's beautiful. So it's just staying on, on path. And the door to personal healing and happiness amidst financial constraints. The underlying energy is the thinking man, right? Finding his new abilities, what he really wants to do with his life, right? Finding who he is and what his actual abilities are. And these are the three cards that came out. So they all are very general, right? There's no people in them. We, got a, we have a bird in this one. And there's three lanterns in that one. And then just the bare cupboards there. So it's saying, this is what is at your fingertips. And so what are you going to do with it? What are you going to manifest with what you have? Right? When there is nothing and you just have a blank slate, what is it that you can create? So it's like being challenged here. And we have the 12, the 13, and the 34. 12 is the hangman. 13 is the death or transformation. And the allowing the rebirth to occur and the 34, the hangman, the transformation, and the 34 is the eight of wands, that energetic exchange between the masculine and feminine, the co-creation, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm still going to do the union reads, so I'm going to let you go here. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature, and... It's, it's really beautiful out today. Rise and be love, you guys.